Hey guys, it's Sebastian here from Noble Frugal Studio. Today I'm gonna to teach you how to download and install custom brushes into OpenTunes and Tahoma 2D. So between the two softwares, the process is pretty much the same. And you'll find that to be true for a lot of things because the programs are based off the same source code. They're more or less the same program. But first of all, before we get to having more brushes, where do we use the brushes in OpenTunes by default? So I'm gonna go back to my main page. Um, I would like to go back to the basics page, except for I can't do that. So sorry if this page looks different than yours. My basic page is now is now this. And um, so we're just gonna have to deal with it. But if you come over to the style editor, which you should see um, somewhere on your page, on the basics page, it may be somewhere like here. We make a layer, let's just go, just draw something, so we'll make, make a layer. If you draw and it creates a vector layer or this layer is yellow and you wanna do a raster one, all you gotta do is click this middle icon on your X sheet toolbar and select Tunes Raster Layer from the drop down menu. Or if you don't see that, all you gotta do is right click on the timeline, hit new level and do Tunes Raster Layer. So on our raster layer, we're gonna come up to the style editor and we're gonna click on raster. It's gonna take a little while to load. And then we have all these brushes we can choose from. Quickly, I'll just show you my favorite ones. If you scroll all the way down this list, come down to sketch one, it's a pencil brush. This is one of my favorite brushes. And my other favorite brush, which is a custom brush, which I'll show you how to download today, is this brush. It's the pencil brush that comes, this pack that I can't really pronounce. So we'll, we'll see it when we get to it. I actually animated the intro that you saw in the beginning with this brush, so there you go. Okay, but what about vector brushes? So let's make a vector layer. We're just gonna click this button here on our X sheet toolbar, new vector level, hit okay. Again, if you can't do that, just right click, new level, tunes vector level. And if you have a vertical timeline, you can just do the same thing just like that. Okay, I'm gonna head back to main. So we go on our vector level, and this time we go to a style editor and we go to vector. Then all these brushes will be loaded for us. I don't know if it loaded all of them, there we go. The only vector brush I ever really use, it's a custom brush and it's called Set One Digital Ink 10. And so you draw this brush, it has a nice taper to it. I don't know, I just like this brush. I really like the way this brush tapers. I talked about it in my favorite brushes video, end of story. Okay, but how do we get these custom brushes into OpenTunes slash Tahoma? Let's go. Okay, starting out with raster brushes. If you follow the link in the description, it'll take you to this GitHub page, which is brush packages for MyPaint. If you didn't know, OpenTunes actually uses MyPaint brushes. So all the custom brushes that you can import into MyPaint, you can also import into OpenTunes. Not all of them are going to work perfectly, but who cares? More brushes, more fun. I guess I'll teach you how to download the one that I will use in my walk cycle tutorial, because I mentioned it a thousand times in that tutorial without even, you know, making this video, so I might as well teach you how to download that one. Okay, so here it is. It's the uh, Dieterle brushes, this this thing right here. So this pencil brush is the one I use for, I use for my walk cycle animation. I also really like their oil brushes that help me do the shading for the new intro. So all we gotta do is come over here and then just hit download. 710 kilobytes, let's hit download. I'm gonna hit the little arrow and go show in folder. You're gonna need a program that can open zip files in order to continue with this tutorial. Um, I use 7-zip, WinRAR works as well. So I'll leave a link in the description to download 7-zip or WinRAR in case you don't have them yet. Head over to here, just hit 7-zip, extract files, hit okay. And then it'll make a folder out of the zip folder. And the reason mine says one is because I've already downloaded this and I've already installed them. Okay, so it created a folder for us. Double click it, click on this and then right click and hit copy. Then we're gonna go to our OpenTunes directory. Okay, so here I am in my OpenTunes directory. If you don't know where your OpenTunes directory is, it's the place where you installed OpenTunes. So I installed OpenTunes on my hard drive and I named the folder OpenTunes Stuff 2020. But if you don't know where it is, a little trick you can do is go into OpenTunes then go to browser, and then it'll already have open the OpenTunes directory and the project folder that you have open. So it says project root on my hard drive, my D drive, OpenTunes stuff 2020 projects. So if you don't know where it is, go to browser and it'll show you where your OpenTunes directory is. Let's go to OpenTunes stuff 2020, library, my paintbrushes, and we're gonna paste the folder that we have in here. So hit paste, I don't need to do it again. But yes, you just paste the folder in there and then you restart OpenTunes and all your brushes will be there. 
So when you scroll down in the raster section, you'll just see these brushes. <coughs> if you scroll down in the raster brushes section, you'll see these group of brushes. And this is the pencil brush right here on top. They also have some oil brushes, which are nice. So let's go do the vector brushes and it's pretty much the same thing. So I'll just go a little faster this time. Following the link in the description will take you to this page. Let's click the download link for this digital ink brush set for OpenTunes. It took me to Google Drive. I'm just gonna hit download, hit show in folder, right click, extract files. Now we have the digital ink brush set folder. And this time you wanna copy all these files, like so, hit control A and then right click and hit copy. So we're not gonna be pasting a folder this time, we're gonna be pasting a bunch of vector brushes. So let's head back to our OpenTunes directory, OpenTunes stuff 2020, library, and go to vector brushes. You can just paste all of the brush files by right clicking and hitting paste. I already did that and it should look like this when you're done. Going back into OpenTunes, no, I don't wanna save. If you go to the vector brushes, after you restart OpenTunes, of course, it'll load up all the brushes for you. Here we have all of these brushes. I suppose it's probably draw something, I guess. I mean, we've gotta have a thumbnail, right? Okay guys, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching, I hope this helped you. If you have any questions, you can join my Discord server, leave them in the questions channel, that way we can help you better. And be sure to tune in when my Tahoma walk cycle tutorial video comes out. If you wanna support free animation tutorials, follow the link in the description to my Patreon page. With that said, thank you all for watching once again, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.